Hey everybody, I'm back with another stage breakdown video from this season, season five, of Entering Women's Love at First Shot. Hopefully, you've been catching up on all of the action on Entering Women's Facebook page every Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. We're in the comment section, blowing it up, sharing the premiere live. And if you haven't seen all of the episodes, you can go back to Entering Women's Facebook page or enteringwomen.tv to catch up because this week it's the finale. <laughs> don't worry, I don't give away any spoilers in these videos, but you definitely definitely want to check them out if you haven't seen them already. So what are we talking about this week? We are talking about our third stage. I think it was the third stage. I believe it's the third stage. Even if it isn't the third stage, it's one of my favorites. It's a salute to Lady Greats, the likes of Annie Oakley, Plinky Plinkerton, and of course the ladies who are competing in this season of Love of Her Shot. So in designing these courses of fire, I really wanted a challenge that would test our ladies in accuracy and what better way to do it than with some, some serious, some serious, I'm telling you, some serious trick shots. And that's what we have here. And in this challenge, we set up different targets with different point values. Every single point on every single target on this stage was assigned a point that was added to the total score. So it was like every single target was a bonus target. And talk about fun <laughs> and throwing a wrench into how these ladies thought the challenges were going to go. We had clays, we had bottles, we had corks, we had corn cob pipes, we had dimes, buttons, and of course that dangling carrot, the playing card that you had to split in order to get the full point value, a whopping 20 points on the stage. Now, as far as strategy, all four of our teams opted to have the amateur take the easier shots on the easier, the gimmies, the clays and the water bottles. And that is such a smart way to go. That way they could rack up the points, they could build their confidence. Now, when it came to the pros, we saw some differences in how they would tackle these different challenges, whether they would take the shot on the playing card or opt for what they would view as gimmies, the smaller corks, the corn cob pipes, moving on to the buttons, the dime, and then of course, the playing card. This is where math really comes into play, knowing exactly where you stand in the standings, whether or not to take a chance to go for that 20, go for the bigger value, or to play it safe and go for the sure thing hits. When Natalie and I shot the stage as the pre-run, <laughs> Natalie opted to take the clays and the bottles and then move on to the corks, whereas I decided to go for that playing card because I knew 20 points would be huge. And I wanted to do it at the beginning of my run when I would be the least tired. I wouldn't be as shaky. I could really focus on those fundamentals and I wouldn't be distracted by what Natalie was doing. I knew she was gonna take out those clay targets first, but as soon as she moved on to the water bottles, that's a lot of shooting. There's a lot of water going on. There's a lot of distracting stuff. So I didn't want to let that affect my game. And if you watch the slow motion, I did hit the playing card. Woohoo! And I split it, which was pretty awesome. Um, but how did our other teams handle this particular trick shot shooting challenge? Well, I won't give anything away, but it's definitely an episode that you'll want to watch. And let me know in the comments below how you would have gone about shooting this particular stage. And you know what's really neat? This is something that you could totally set up something similar to on your local range. Of course, make sure you clean up after yourselves if you're leaving, leaving any sort of mess. You don't want to do that, but it's a ton of fun. In fact, this episode, I kind of give you a little shooting tip on the range on how to break your first playing card. And it starts with that bigger, easy target, moving to a smaller target, aiming at the edge of a paster, moving onto a line, and then taking a shot on the card, which I hit but it didn't split, but it was a ton of fun. And in this episode, we are using Smith & Wesson MFP 15 22 Sports. This happens to be a pink version. This is my daughter's gun, but what a great little plinker. I love that this is set up with a Picatinny rail for an optic, and it comes straight out of the box with Embus flip-up sights. These are Magpul sights that flip out of the way if you have an optic, but all you have to do is press down and flip them up, and you can be plinking away. I also love the fact that it does come with a six position stock that allows me and my daughter or anyone else for that matter to get the perfect length of pull for them. And again, it's affordable, it's fun, and it's just an all around great time. So yeah. We only have one episode left and I want to know, do you have a favorite team? Is it purple, green, blue, red, or uh, is it uh, team yellow? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wasn't, I wasn't competing, but you can say team yellow. Let me know if you've been enjoying the show, what you'd like to see for the next season, if that's possible. And if you like these stage breakdown series videos and uh, let me know if you're looking forward to next week's video. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, of course, be safe and have fun.